You know, it was basically, I think, born into me. I've always been an active kid. Um, you know, was a high school All-American, went to college as a two-sport athlete, and and basically found through 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 experiences that my true passion was in, in conditioning and preparing my body to perform at its best. Basically, I wanted to take what I had up here and what I had inside and, and transfer that over to athletes with big, better gifts. And uh, there's no more fun than staying involved athletically and, and helping these, these kids and, and these professional athletes succeed and go beyond um, where I could. Well, when I went to Iowa State, I uh, was a two-sport athlete. Again, I, I swam and played baseball. After my first semester, um, I dropped swimming um, and, and decided that I was going to pursue, instead of pre-physical therapy, going to pursue exercise and sports science because I really wanted to know how and why I was doing the things I was doing. Um, so continued to play baseball and when they dropped baseball as a sport at Iowa State, I volunteered time in the strength conditioning room to learn as much as I possibly could. And when the time came that I was done with my undergraduate degree, my strength coach actually told me about um, a graduate assistant position that he had. Um, so I was able to stay at Iowa State, continue working with the strength coach that, that basically was my mentor, Steve Ballinger, and uh, you know pass it along in a real world environment and uh, learn as much as I could and uh, take that master's degree and that personal experience and, and bring it over into the real world. One, I want to correct those overuse injuries that many basketball players come in displaying because all they've done is play um, and, and they haven't taken the time to, to make sure that their body is balanced. And then I want to take and examine um, the different movements that are involved in basketball and, and add you know, the right resistances and the right technology such as the Vertimax, such as the Spark training tools to allow them to mimic um, as much as they possibly can from the court. I think the biggest thing that, that I offer is, is through the years, and I've been doing this since, you know, for 12 or 13 years now, is I've been exposed to a number of different uh, biases. It is taking all those tools, and that's really all they are. I don't think that there's any one set of principles that is, is better than any of the others. Um, but most importantly, my education, I fall back on it all the time. And it has to make sense scientifically. And then the tools that I choose are dependent upon the athlete and their needs.